right, we should be recording. We should be recording. All right, everybody, this is not your usual. Uh, not the usual. This is recorded on a Tuesday, y'all. Yeah, this is this a Tuesday yeah. with no stream. We're gonna try something different. We're gonna try to like uh keep a do like some like some little videos, just one topic so people can just like view it. Other people can go on YouTube and watch them. For sure. Uh, it, we got we got a nice little flow now, you know, and I got my partner in crime. It's good to have like so like let me explain <laughs> about like I used to do this a lot by myself. But just the flow, like, I just like the energy that uh, Rose brings to the table when we discuss stuff. So we're going to try to, like, make a, make a, uh, like, build my channel more like this. And then, so some days we want to talk, but we don't want to stream. And we can right. make a little video out. You got anything else you want to add? I mean, shoot. I just give us feedback. Comment on the video. Hit us up on Discord or Twitch. Let us know like how the yeah, videos how the Discord yet. Yeah. But hit us up on Twitch. If you like know us, give us like feedback, opinions, like what you think. Like, like what you think. said that should be like do we improve on? You know, always like to have feedback from our viewers. That's like one thing I'm asking. Just a little feedback. Yeah, pretty much. Um yeah, that's all I can think of. Um as the title says, this is going to be a Thor discussion, Thor Love and War. Hey, right. And uh, I, all right, so let's just start overall. Over, overall. Overall. Are we going to give it like a <laughs> one to a five or a one to a what ten? When you going to do a one Let's do one to a ten because yeah, I feel like that's broad enough. To, more numbers to explain. Yeah, you do one to five, you give somebody a solid three, they're going to be like, is Jay hey, was he kidding? You see what I'm saying? Yeah, she right there. I remember. I, I thought there. you noticed when she jumped that day. Uh, not not all the time, bro. Like she had just like, you know, I, ever since I've been, As you over, did. she been. I've been gone, so you know, she been up under me all day today. So. Hey, I thought you noticed that she came up there and sat down. I seen her when she came up there. Nah, bro, she a silent assassin. But uh, so we are gonna do one to ten. All right, let's keep one it. One to ten. Down. Okay. Oh. All right. What was like, yo? What's your score on it? Overall. Overall, like the whole movie, not like a particular part not in the movie. Pieces. The movie as a whole, not different pieces. The whole thing. As a comic book fan, I hate to do this. About I mean, your four. score, and my score might be the same. You gonna give it about a four? About a four. Uh, I'm gonna give it by the seven, and the only reason I'm giving it a seven is because of Christian Bell and the fact because that what? they, because of Christian Bell and Gore, that's the only reason I'm giving it a seven. And then, like, I, I like how it, I want to give it more, but I'm gonna explain why. Like, uh, another reason why I gave it a little more is because I've always like wanted Thor to like have like his little sidekick moment, but like he's I mean, his little one that's going to come up with the rest of them for the new Avengers. I always wanted to see Thor, like, had a care, had, like, somebody to raise up. Not like this, though, because I oh, felt yeah, like this so, was a pull. So that's my thing. That's why I'm torn about it, because Gore to God, but like I've been telling everybody, like, he that nigga. Like, that's my, uh, that's one of my favorite man. Thor villains. Like, him, and then, uh, all right, so, so let's try to do this. The first half of the review is going to be spoiler free. Okay, let's do that then. All right. The first half of the review is spoiler free. First half. And the second the half, half of the review is going to be all spoilers. So this is your time now to stay. Because I, I want to talk about the end credit scene. I want to talk about that too. Because he's one of my favorite characters for Thor's. He movie. one of my favorite ones. He one of my favorite ones because I feel like they did a good job of showing like the real version of him per se, then like the Disney version that everybody knows. So you're doing too much like already. That. You're doing. Well, too it's much a dip. 
But it is less how people look at it. Like when Disney came out with their version of this particular stop person, talking, they even changed. Stop talking, stop talking. You already uh, okay. Because like, people be like, Disney, shit, Disney, if you're talking about gods, then you know how folks is. All right, yeah. all right, all right. Okay. We got we to gotta hurry up with the spoiler spoiler free review because Rose going <laughs> to tell it all. All right. Uh, let me, let me, let me see. Mm, let let go with something that's like less spoilery. All right, let's How did start you with think gore. about the characters? Yeah, let's, let's start with start the with characters. Gore. Let's start with Gore. Gore, everything about his story was perfect. He felt like he literally too. makes the movie. I just they, hated how, and I told you what was gonna happen. I told yeah. you they was gonna like make Jane somewhat the reason for his demise. Um, we're not going to get to how he died yet. We're not going to get to uh, none of that. Because I can say that Jane's whole role in the movie, mm-hmm. it was significant, but it was very insignificant depending on like how you looked at what was no, going on. And that's, and that's another thing. If you read the comics, it's perfect. Take everything I just felt like they off. wasted it. It started off good. I just felt like they wasted the potential with Jane because, like, you see what Thor is doing by the end of the movie. So we could have had Jane at home on Earth in Thor for us while real Odin's son is out there doing whatever he's doing. Yeah, I just felt like they wasted that 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 little time with that by having Jane, like you know. But if you read the comics, that's that's just that's what it is. So like. I'm not upset with it because I know they're pulling more from the ultimate comics than, say, the new stuff. That's because one thing that stuff, I'm starting to hate, though. Because if they do go down the ultimate timeline, they're going to have to kill some of these bigger name characters because they ultimatum. To. Yeah, they're starting to. But if they're going to go down this whole ultimatum route, like that, where you going to tell all of the stories that lead yeah. up the ultimatum? But that's the thing. I, I wouldn't like that. Going, I don't think they're going to ultimatum. I think they're going straight to Secret Wars. Encourage. Okay, that's fine. If they go straight to Secret Wars, I'd be okay with that. But if you're trying to tell like a Ultimate Universe style Marvel six one six, the end game is ultimatum. I don't like that because no, that means think you that, don't. That, the end game was an ultimatum in the comics. Ultimatum was like the first. Well. It kind of was the first ending of the Ultimate Comics. And then that's how I think about them. I think about Ultimatum literally as no, an ending because no. of how so good, because like of the how they did some of the characters. Ultimatum was like the halfway point. And then mm. they like rebranched it, rebranched everything, and then went to Secret Wars to where like the collision of. The yeah, the collision it. thing. But like with that being said, though, do you think they're gonna try to tell some of the weird ass stories that come from the Ultimate Universe to fill in some of these? Like, oh, we know that they here, we know that no. they care, but no, they have been. You don't think they're gonna add say, some of them like no, weird stories? No, when I say like they're pulling from the Ultimate Comics, they're literally just like that's like the main basis of what like they're how they're structuring the universe. But they're they they've been pulling from everything. I'm just saying, like if you take that one thing, I don't like. If you take the main basis of the MCU, it's the Ultimate Universe, and then they pull from the newer stuff, the old stuff, the stuff from the 50s and the 60s. But back to Thor, though, the first story of Jane becoming Thor is that is what we got, and that is perfect. Gore's or story starting off is perfect. My thing is this. It was too many jokes. Like anytime something was being That was serious, one thing that I was gonna touch on too. I felt like even with Gore, when he, when he had that scene with the kids, no, nah, that was perfect. I felt though. like that that was perfect, like that was fine. But you how later on they tried to make him scarier by dealing with the kids in another way shouldn't have had him in there telling jokes even though like no, that's a that, part no, of the movie I feel like no 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 I feel like that time that's how you make a sinister villain like 
He remi- at that time, in that moment, he reminded me of Pennywise. When he with the keys. keys. Yeah. I feel like he's Pennywise. Because I like because he was I like, like oh, y'all dialogue like jokes? better. Y'all was just telling the same yeah. kind of jokes. Well, and that I mean, made me just, laugh. You know what I'm saying? Like that, like that's the and that made me laugh. Like the whole like like that monologue with him with the kids. I like that better if you're looking at it from a perspective of he's entertaining because it shows you that he can add like layers to Gore as a character. Mm-hmm. I like his dialogue with Thor, Jane, and Valkyrie a little better because it was more sinister. He mm-hmm. had an objective that he was trying to get done. Yeah. I like that dialogue way better because dark. Like he spoke on everybody. He yeah. spoke on everybody what they couldn't do, what they could do, and he yeah. sent their ass back out there. He called so, them out. And was I like, mean, y'all niggas pussy. Run me my fate. He was like, y'all. He was like, and how you, then that goes back to the conversation that he had with the kids. Like, where your gods at? He was like, y'all probably had prayed to these people, but where are they? They not here. Mm-hmm. I was like, yeah, Glory no. was a good character. Now, back back to you know the whole basis of it. Like I felt like when scene when stuff was fixing to be serious, then they randomly and, and they na- name a moment where you felt like oh, they joked too much and it was serious. Because I probably feel the same way. I, okay, so this this still the spoiler free stuff when they were on it's the boat stuff, yeah. heading to the shadow realm. Felt like they was joking too much right there. Yeah, like when when Thor and Jane finally had that one on one, and um, Cord did. Oh, you know what I'm talking about in uh Jane. Don't say nothing, but uh, you know what I'm saying. Like I felt like that that should have been a way more emotional moment. Yeah, and how like, funny they made that, it come. The way to that scene, it was building up, and then it ruined it. It was like this. And then he just ruined he it. Uh, and then and then by the time it built back up to the to the moment or whatever, it I didn't feel the impact anymore because he ruined it with that. When you say the moment when it got brought back up again at the hospital. No, not the hospital. I'm just saying like and just think of the boat scene, don't think of nothing else. When yeah. Cord interrupted that and they had to build back up to like them talking again, them getting emotional. I personally then was out of the moment at that moment. Yeah. And so it did Is that hit when we finally got that- the rekindle ship, if so to say, without spoiling anything. I Because I feel like. Raimi did the same thing with Wanda and Doctor Strange, but it was good because he made it a scary movie. No, but see, that's so I get like that's too. That's the thing you're you're trying to don't think of no other movies right now because yeah, Sam I'm Raimi, just comparing and, those. And the basis of at uh, the basis of Multiverse of Madness, it was a horror movie. It was, they wanted to make yeah. it rated R, so they had to dilute it. So what they did to that movie makes sense versus. What they did to what Taika Waititi did to this movie, I don't like all the jokes and stuff. It's like he was trying to be Guardians of the Galaxy. I feel and... like they tried to make they trying to see who else can be like their funny character outside of Deadpool and Spider Man, which is a hard road to fill if you see no, you're not gonna what, show them for a certain that, amount of time. But that's what we have the guardians for like they've already been established that they're not serious yeah. they're just out here a bunch of goofballs i've already made peace with that and so like even when the guardians was in the beginning even the funny stuff was all centered on thor and it's sad when star lord is more serious than thor right you especially that one scene right before they was gonna take off he was like so dislike what you're gonna do and Thor just still playing. He like, man, fuck on. Get, get the fuck on. All right, yeah, I'll catch you later, man. Like, like Thor sitting on the mountain. It's just like, you. they're down there having a war. And you just they're waiting down on there them to come. Dying. To, and you waiting on them to say, bro, we need your help for you to come down there. And like, that's the type of shit that's like, Thor doesn't balance with the Guardians. Like, yes, he was in the Guardians for yeah. a while. 
But like when everybody he was in the has rolled with them at one point in time now. But like just for the though, face like, card thing. Yeah, but when he was with the Guardians, like they had muscles behind him. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. I remember when he was a part of the Guardians because I remember that when Wolverine was on that when Tony went out there with them one time, like they having a bunch of like they roster is real interchangeable per se, because you can just say they went out with them that one time and they came back like the next day. Mm-hmm. Like, so I kind of like that they did give Thor like a spot with them. But like I'm saying, though, how this movie ended, how am I supposed to believe that Thor is going to be in the third Guardians movie if he's no, in he's it? No, he's not. He's not going to be in it. I'm going to be so in what, it. See, so I didn't know it was. What was supposed to happen was it was supposed to be Guardians come out first, then Thor. And so he was supposed to be their muscles in Guardians. But now they, re, now they had to rewrite because... They rehashed him. Yeah, so... My thing is this. The with the like I understood the Guardians leaving. We was expecting that. And then it's a Thor movie. It's not a Guardians movie. Yeah. And then they also said that Thor takes place later in the timeline. Like he said it's been eight years or whatever since because of the snap and stuff. So you take the five years of the snap, so it's been three years since uh Thanos. Everybody came back. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, hell, Guardians may still have Thor in it. It just takes place before if they so choose to have it like that. It's just, it's just real crazy because have you seen the run times for this phase? I want to say it's like 22 hours already and we only have like, what, five movies, five or six movies for this phase? That's it's, not a good six, sign. It's uh, it's six. I don't, I don't it's know, not a good it. sign to me though because I feel like why don't we have like a set path story wise? So why have we been well, getting like a bunch what, of one shot stories? That's like one thing that I didn't like about well, like they, them talking they, about the face. They already said that they didn't want uh to that they already said that they didn't want to do like a big ten year story arc anymore. So everything's She's been fine. like everything's been like the multiversal stuff has been tying it from movie to movie. It's just that some stuff like Shang Chi takes place in his own world, like in his own thing, and that's okay Eternals though because that's his, his first thing. movie. Thor is his own thing, and so and that's what I don't like about Thor. Like, why is his movie so like well? That's another separated, and that's, and that's another thing. Well, I feel like they probably wanted to include the gods more. But like, show, as show, as you can show, do that, though. show Gore like killing more of the gods that was important that like basically leads into like other properties not having their um their gods show up. Because I would say lead off into the Pantheon thing because that could be like Thor's next whole life story arc. Because at the end credit scene, it I mean it probably is about to be like you finish. Stay get, away like, from the end whole... credit scene. We're still. Yeah, I ain't gonna talk over. about it. But okay. This you see that one character, and for me, I was no, happy. Talk, talk right and... now. Hold on, hold on. Right now, talk about what you like and talk about just the stick. Stick to uh, yeah, that's what I was finna say. Okay, I was finna okay. talk about like what I didn't like and what I did like when okay. I saw this one what? particular character. When I saw this character, I liked it because, like, how you said, it opens the door. To... Don't talk about none of the oh, ending God. stuff, that's still a spoiler. Yeah. Don't even mention him. It opens the doors to talk about like other Thor things. But when you look at the character from if you a fan and you see the character, you're not gonna like them because of the fact that they're a uh, I can't talk about it without spoiling That's what I'm me, saying. so never mind. Stay away. You keep trying to go to the end. Stay where we're in the we're, stay in the movie. Stay in the movie talk. Like stay in the non spoiler. It's just not a lot that it's just not a lot to talk about non spoiler lies because no, it was a very about, basic movie about, for the first talk couple about, of, for the talk first about hour. Like what okay, let me ask you, okay, let me rephrase it. What do you what did you not like about the premise of the movie? Like I didn't like that they tried to make it a whole coming of age story about Thor's relationships, even though this movie is about Jane. It's about Jane. It's about their relationships and how like Thor plays off of his relationships with people. 
I just felt like if you was gonna have gore in it, it should have had more action in it. It did have like, some, you know. it didn't have enough for me because at the end of the day, you really only get two good scenes with gore. Fit Thor in it. Mm -hmm. And if you trying to say that this movie is to build up so we know what Thor is doing while all of the other movies are going on and this movie takes place later, and why didn't we get more Thor? Because if you're saying that this is like his movie for the face and we won't get to see him until probably like another Avengers movie, mm -hmm. this was not like enough Thor for me. Because even in Ragnarok, we got like, we had this big action. We got to see the sister. We got to see the whole Asgardian, how that happened. Right. It led into a whole bunch of different things, but this one Thor doesn't lead anywhere. Right, like, so it doesn't have a setup for anything, I feel like. So let me... It was just his own standalone. Like you said. So how I feel about that is, first off, this is the fourth movie. They had yes. they they kind of had to end on a reboot stage because you know everything that made Thor Thor is gone now. But what sucks is that they still had loose ends from the other Thor movies. That that you know basically like people don't count one and two. I love Thor one and two. I didn't like the second one because the second one was too like the second one was too it was trying to be too lore heavy to lead into Jane's movie. But no, if you would have asked me, I felt like Ragnarok shouldn't have happened as a movie. It should have happened per se as like an event. And Jane should have been Thor's third movie because you could have made this movie about like what he's or from. Because Jane had some pretty cool stories when she was Thor. You could have gave Jane like a movie. I'm mixed on now. I don't really, I don't really believe that. I, I don't really believe that, so to say. But I get why you say it. My thing. So Thor one and two. All right, I look at them like this. Instead of like a trilogy or quadrilogy, I look at them as two duologies. Thor one. Separate entries. Yeah, yeah. Thor <laughs> one and two. And then you got Thor Ragnarok, which was a catalyst for towards like Infinity War. Thor yeah, Ragnarok which is like what I was gonna say. Thor Ragnarok, Ragnarok had, had to happen happened. because of what was going on in the in, in Marvel at the time, and so you had to have some big cataclysmic event that should have been longer. Ooh. But I feel like Ooh, that was did. Civil War. They did Ragnarok, like Ragnarok Civil War. All should have been like its own fucking phases to me, at least. Yeah, because I felt like with Ragnarok, they fucked up the one good chance they had to make a good Hulk movie because you could have made a fire as Hulk movie coming like from if Ragnarok. Ragnarok was the on let's own like three movie phase, and you would have got World War Hulk. You would have got World War Hulk. Hulk. You would have got uh, what's the one at the war? Planet Hulk, World War Hulk, Planet and Hulk. Ragnarok ends with Ragnarok or whatever. Right, and but, you could have had Thor be that villain that be the hero that fought him. That could have been like cool because they fought each other way. in the Ragnarok. But we don't live in that universe, so we get what we got because of the Infinity Stones. Oh, now, <laughs> getting back to that Thor, so Thor Ragnarok had to like tie up the loose ends from Thor one, basically him being worthy and stuff. And like so, it, so you can get the journey that he got in Endgame. You know what I'm saying? So like, if you look at like the two duologies, one ties to Ragnarok. So Thor two, that was really Jane heavy, ties into Thor Love and Thunder. And so he had to tie the loose ends of like, well, I tied up my brother's love, like how I feel, my mom, my dad, like just all of Asgard, just me as a person. The one thing left was Jane, and so. The whole Jane stuff, the love and thunder, I expected nothing less. My thing is this, too, is that during the movie, everything just seemed like a joke. Like nothing. Like but especially stakes. when you see like other gods in the movie they mm -hmm. make them seem like a joke especially the one that's supposed to be badass that's what i'm gonna get to so with with throw everything so the stakes that they're supposed to be at with gore the god butcher don't, it don't the feel god real butcher, <laughs> the god butcher the god <laughs> butcher the god listen the god butcher 
Matthews has Nobody come to be sitting in the palace. Came out, oh yeah, we chilling. And oh, then when please. you get to Omnipotent City, literally the one of the one of the biggest things I was waiting on. And okay, for everybody to know, Omnipotent, Omnipotent City is the city you see in the trailers. We're only talking hey. about shit that's in the trailers right now. I've been waiting for this introduction in Marvel for a long time to see all of the gods, to let us know that they exist, to let everybody know that there are gods. He's not just and there's the celestials, yeah, he's not just and then there's the, the, the Marvel entities of the universe or whatever. There's a hierarchy. So, yeah, so, so with the gods or whatever, they have a place where they all congregate and chill and talk about godly things, but to make yes. it just a fucking show like zeus's talk show like just it's boring and then to make it was crazy as hell then to make zeus a bitch and like which he is like zeus is in every mythology like he's a dick he's always arrogant he's always proud yeah the hubris so i get that it's just that when thor came to them like got the god butcher is coming and he has a necro sword, and he's gonna kill all of us. They all just sat there, and y'all just supposed to and be left. gods. Y'all, y'all are supposed to be like a god butcher. Y'all like if I'm a god, be, like y'all are supposed to be the niggas that the Avengers can't do shit with. Like, right? It's like, if I'm a god, the if he's the nigga walking around, powers, god butcher. y'all are the niggas that give niggas powers in this world, and y'all are just hey. standing there, like. Like, this was my whole thing. I honestly felt like they could have through. You could have had a Moon Knight reference in there. You could have seen that, all of the guys from thing. Moon Knight there. And that's another thing. Like, they, it's the perfect chance to, like, tie in Kansu. All of the TV and, uh, shows. That's the perfect hey. chance to finally, like, show Bass, like, how she looks. How she looks outside of the pageant that we see. You could have yeah, seen all of that country. All of the Egyptian gods. That that they talk about in reference, they could have threw in the god that Namor is supposed to represent, cause they're saying that they're changing Namor's like mythology, cause like we know he's a mutant, but he's gonna be like a uh, uh, the water version of Black Panther, and he has a god that he represents, and the at and they're representing the whole Aztec Mayan god calendar, like the, not the calendar, the whole Aztec Mayan gods. Yeah. That would have been the perfect. That could have been the perfect chance to throw them in there just as a fucking cameo. Right, because you could have had, like you said, you could introduce all your characters that has stuff to do with guys, like all of them. It could have been like a small one, even with the um the Moon Knight thing. You know, if you've seen Moon Knight, that all of their avatars, something happened to their avatars. Exactly. So you Not could show that. the guys in the city, oh, we looking for new avatars. Are they Not talking about that. it they anyway? No, not even that. They ain't got to talk. Just show, like, Kansu sitting there, and people who seen Moon Knight would have been like, oh, oh no. That's, oh, that's Kansu. Oh, yeah, that's the Nick. That's, yeah. that's him. And who that next to him? Easy could have Googled, like, Oh, them those were like fucking watch mojo would have went in on the damn video like next to Kansu was the yeah. other pantheon gods right. that are gonna come I felt later. Like they, had, they had so much they could have done with him just going to the city exactly like i it, felt it, like they did i felt like they were trying to pull too much with the kids talking about uh I you so and so thing no i ain't even gonna get to that that because that's a whole nother wave but, yeah, I didn't really like that for real because I felt like they didn't explain on, we, that good. That's a that's a spoiler. We're not gonna get to that. So we ain't get to that yet. But with the that is right because you the, wouldn't know that if you just don't know exactly, who that is. Exactly. So with the pantheon, so stick with the pantheon. We're gonna stay with the pantheons right now. Just that that scene alone, and how all of them were like like they could have easily like set up Wakanda forever. And show Bass and Bass be one of the gods to help Thor, and she dies. Yeah. She dies in battle with Gore, or some. You know what I'm saying? Right, because you could have came back and said that you know just because they're from different pantheons don't necessarily mean that they don't interconnect or interact with each other they're outside all, of which. No, I'm saying they're all in the universe together, so they could have yeah. like. Man, it's it was a perfect chance to just. Do a it lot. missed out on a lot because 
I can't say that I'm excited for the next Thor movie if there will be one because I don't know how they're gonna do the characters that they introduced to this movie because they did them in such a weird way. They tried to make everything too funny and I didn't take two of the characters serious like I should have. And that like made me look at them really weird. And when we get to our spoiling talk, I'll tell you who the this was. Yeah. But I just can't I can't have faith in the next Thor movie knowing that I seen this character make a joke. Or right, he laughed when he shouldn't have laughed. So I just so- can't like the we're not sent to where with me per se as like you try to get this to hold on we're gonna get to it so so i was just gonna say how it had a whole movie set where with me like non-spoiler wise non-spoiler wise it's okay would i watch it a second time even if i didn't pay for it because that's just how interesting it was for me this was the first like uh marvel movie i came out and didn't immediately want to go see it again yeah, this is the first one I can say I felt like that too. Because like, even with Shane Chi and Dr. Strange, I was like, I'll watch him again. And I have watched him again. But no, when Shang this comes out on Disney Plus, Shane Chi was like one of the ones I was like, I didn't care for it either. I, w- I w- didn't care to go see it again, but it wasn't like, it was one of those. It surprised me. Like, it was a yeah, surprise like, for me. If, if somebody would have been like, you want to go see Shane Chi, I would have probably been like, oh, whatever, cool. Yeah. Like, Thor, like, is like, no, because like, when Thor first came back to Asgard and they're all bumping and it's just like I don't know like I get the moment when he like with the hammer and then another thing like how they how like they tried to make like the hammers and like the storm break I didn't like that game. it was funny for a while but, but the joke got stale really like, fast at the beginning, yeah. yeah at the beginning it was, it it was funny hilarious. as fuck in the beginning but it's just like just over time, it was like the same. Like when they like your time. boat scene, when they got to the boat and they made yeah, that like, juggling the hammer, I didn't like that because yeah, he killed like, it. It was over with. Like I loved the initial part where like the hammer seemed like it was coming back to him. That was cool. But I, and I and I I even get why they tried to make it seem like he wasn't worthy. Because but did it because like you know they have to reference like the other movies like damn I'm still worthy yeah. like I ain't tried to use you and you know he picked it up like yeah I'm still worthy yeah he picked it up and then he's like whoo and then I even me I I I took a deep breath I was like all right who we good like yeah, because I don't think people understand that Mjolnir is the hammer with the incantation on it it's not Stormbreaker yeah, Stormbreaker is just like a normal hammer or keep- axe for him. Yeah, people keep getting upset because, like, people can pick up Stormbreaker, but, like, Stormbreaker isn't enchanted. And so it's just It's like, not enchanted. You know, one thing that I don't like, I wish Marvel would give Thor his bracers with me all near. I if they ever have did that. fucking belt, too. Like, that's yeah, the belt. Like, if they gave him all belt, of his equipment, it would make him a better different. character That'd because that builds fight. on. Yeah, it would have been a different fight because. Real people they know like Thor for real mythology. You can't use the hammer if you don't have them braces in the butt on. It's impossible for a person to use the hammer without the braces in the butt on. Mm. So just you picking it up ain't enough. Or being able to pick it up isn't enough. But um it, it, it um like the scene like them coming back to Asgard for the first time and Gore automat like, you know, Gore being there. And I love how creepy they made Gore. I just wish they would have stuck with it. I like how they did the monsters. The monsters for him were pretty cool. I like the little shadow monsters. Mm-hmm. Um, and, and I like how the sword was. The sword itself was pretty cool. Like, he can call it to him wherever yeah. he's at. Yeah. Like, it don't matter where he's at. He can pull the sword from yeah. anywhere. That's like, a fire. It the shadows, like the shadow realm, like everything's connected <laughs> or whatever. But... I, like I like I like it's part like I like different parts of the movie. It's just as a cohesive piece of work. It's it's not like the best because like how me and Pops talked about it last night. He said he was like <clears throat> it should have been a Christian Bale movie. He was like if you would have told me that this was a Jane in a Christian Bale movie and like you know Odin's son is in it as like a side character that would have made for a better movie. He's like I wouldn't have cared if Thor was in this movie. And my dad is a big Thor fan. Thor is his favorite Avenger. He loved Thor. And even he said he didn't really like this movie for real because of the fact that they made Thor seem too kid-friendly. Like, he was too jokey. 
he was too mm. ha ha he 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 didn't do too much of this dead and the third like wait my pops is used to doing like why so if you a comic book fan and i'm not the biggest thor fan thor probably like my second least favorite avenger but i mean just felt like what they're doing with their movies now is just kind of crazy. Like every it just seems like if you have been following their movies, these movies that they've done with some of their characters now seem like little one shots. Like they're just like this one little crazy story. Like this one fun story to tell with this character. And don't get me wrong, like with Doctor Strange, it made for a good watch. Or with Shane Chi, it made for a good watch. But like with Thor, we see kind of translate that whole oh, we're gonna make jokes in a Thor movie, like how we do with Ragnarok. It don't transfer well like, depending Ragnarok on the story was straight because it was like that's like thor as a character like so yeah thor, like like they they so they said they slowly transitioned thor to be like less like asgard and more human and he likes to joke around that's fine. and i feel like the reason they did that was because they didn't make spider-man a main avenger like no, no, he's no, not no, always no, there no, no, for no, the no, jokes no. and stuff no 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 that i don't think that had nothing to do with spider-man i just think like at the time like they like the original writer for Thor was just so dry, and like and they do like say Thor they have a hard time scripture. making scripts for funny characters if they're not Deadpool or Spider Man. Like it's real hard because no. how can you make a character that's not funny funny? No, no, like, they, they, don't be they had no none of that had nothing to do with like Thor like write scripts and stuff had nothing to do with Deadpool or Spider Man. Like so like. So when they was writing Thor, the first two movies, they just made him dry. Like, they tried to make him too much like his comic book counterpart. And that's and, why I like the first one, because you got to see his brothers in it. I felt like that's a big part of telling his story, is that you had to have his brothers, like, pop up in it sometimes. Well, who are you talking about? Well, not his brothers, his friends. Them four friends oh, that he had. his squad or whatever? Yeah. Yeah, like, you had to have them in his movies. Yeah, like when so when Thor um so when they was writing like Thor one and two, they was like just looking at how he acted the comics and tried to like give him that personality, and that doesn't transition well on the big screen. You know what I'm saying? And like they got to give him something, but like I feel like um, Chris, like Chris Hemsworth made Thor himself, and yeah, so and he like, did say he was like him, shit. And he read them if they the same, he won't do them. And he was like, he almost didn't do this one because it was too funny, like writing her up. No, I didn't see that. I just know that um, I saw that on IGN when, when they when interviewed he, him about the movie. That was he was like, I try not to tell them that I'm gonna sign on for multiple ones without reading the scripts first because he was like, if it's not different, then I won't do it because that's the same thing that Toby McGuire had with Spider Man. He was like, I made three of these movies and they're almost all the same. I want to be known for something more than just Spider-Man. That was like his big thing with it. So Chris Hemsworth is saying the same thing. I could understand it because he's a good actor. He can act very well outside of being Thor. Oh, every time I seen him do an interview, he was just like, um, he wants to do as many as he can for the fans. Like, you know how important that is to them. But um, yeah, That was the same way. And at the end, he was like, he read the scripts to make sure that they not going to be him. What I was getting to, though, like when they was like, writing out thor like they 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 didn't transition thor to you know the big screen well but when he linked up with josh whedon in avengers how he acted in avengers how he was just like telling nonchalant jokes like like he's cool. he like oh he's he's half brother like shit like that like it, yeah. made, it made him funny and people was like oh this thor should be the thor that they use and so the Avengers kept like using that. So like that's when Chris kind of like molded Thor to be like that. So when Taika Waititi came on, he was already like goofy Thor. And then is. Taika, like it worked for Ragnarok because you got to see him slowly transition to goofy Thor. But now it's like they like with with Love and Thunder. It's like they was just. I I I was okay with Thor being goofy. It was everybody else in the movie. Like Valkyrie was. And that was one thing that I wasn't okay with either. Like I was okay with Thor being funny when it was like when it was okay for him to say something funny. 
But me reading comic books all the time, I'm not used to him making jokes like that. Like he's yeah. not my comic book. He's not my comic book hero that makes jokes that he's funny. I has funny dialogue. He can have funny dialogue, but he's as guardian. They don't joke unless they're fighting. So, but that but it's just really, it is some stuff that he's like. But that's the different. Like that's what I was trying to say. Like he's not funny, but he says like witty stuff because like he mm-hmm. spent a lot of time on Earth and with Earthlings uh, and stuff. And been around yeah, and that's stories. like kind of the opposite of what you get in the comics because my, he kind of like to stay there all the time. My thing with everybody else, like Valkyrie's like telling all these jokes. We know Core's gonna tell jokes. Like I expect Core, but he uh, I expect so Core to tell was, jokes. His jokes was just like too much. Like, bro, like it's a serious moment. Chill. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. I thought like the goats was gonna play more. And be more. The ghost annoying. was funny to me. That but was the like, funniest thing. About but, the but they weren't there the whole time though, so it's just like yeah. they the times that the ghosts did show up, it made sense. But my like the last thing I, I'm a, I want to talk about before we get to the spoiler the spoiler stuff was how they made Jane like not give a fuck about Thor when that's not that, Jane. Oh. Like, you like went Jane has long. always cared about this man. Yeah, like you went, and I get why, and we're gonna talk about it here in a minute. But yeah, I hate still, that that was that they made that the reason why it wasn't exactly. no. Even like, even take that away, you go five <laughs> like Jane go five and a half years to, without seeing Thor. There's no way. There's no, no way that she's that happened. Still, there's no she's way. She's still going to like be on that nigga dick, and like love on that nigga. Him. She gonna take a picture of him. She gonna be like, "I want she you to come see me." She, she may slap been. him and be like, "Where you been at?" And then love on him, like. But to make yeah. her not care about oh, Thor, oh, nah, Pepper would never. Like I don't care who's writing the movie. Pepper like never, Mary Jane would never. That's what I'm saying. Like Lewis Lane would never. I like, just can't. You can't. That's not. That's. That's. I don't know. That I didn't like that. And I didn't like was how it that took. That I didn't like either, cause it's like they made her Thor just so they could write her like that. Like we and gonna it, make her it, Thor, but just it, so she cannot care about Thor. But that's the thing. It made it seem like she was like the jealous girlfriend who didn't like that the boyfriend had superpowers and stuff. And then when she finally got superpowers, she didn't. Get, it's almost like they did the social. This is this would have been like a SJ. You know how them people like SJW people. When they like make stuff social justice war, like they cater to them. This felt almost like that. Like, oh, she got powers now. She don't need the strong man next to her no more. Like she's on her yeah, own. Like, like, that, was, that was that was awful. I felt like they didn't explain what was actually happening don't with her power. Man, don't it, bro? Nah, I ain't gonna talk about what, it because no, you have something to do with it. Yeah, no, and that's what pissed me off too because how they did Thor's powers, like. Right, like, like they that. Like they didn't explain nothing. Like they didn't explain nothing for nobody. And like you have happened. to be a really, you had to be a really hard lore person about me or in there, Marvel wise, to know like this is how their powers is working. Because if you know it, the incantation say I'm more, more than whoever picks up me for the Thor. And then you got Thor still doing like what he doing on here. So, it's you know, kind of like, like people is like people because I know like casual people are gonna look at how is Thor still Thor and Jane Thor, you know. Right. And we and we know then, that like, Thor is gonna nice always be Thor. Like, yeah. Like we know Thor is gonna always be Thor. He is Thor, but the hammer incantation says, "Whoever is worthy to hold yeah. this hammer is shall the hammer gain the, the powers of Thor." And then you know what I'm saying, so. I get that, but it's still the like no, and I know that like some stuff is supposed to be explained, like supposed to be known by now to viewers and shit. My I just feel just like all the they stuff that happened later with the kids, yeah, they didn't stuff. do a good job of explaining God powers, anything, or it's like God powers from his or powers exactly. because him being godly. You know him being immortal, he's strong, you know, he don't age. His Thor powers are the lightning, call down and lightning strikes their brain, he can fly, all of that comes with millionaire. And like you said, you have to be knowing them type of things to just know that. A normal casual person that just 
the Thor is gonna be like how you said. I mean, like, how is he still Thor and he don't have like mm-hmm. Thor in there? It's a big thing, like, and then, like, when we talk about the spoilers, well, that's mean, a big thing, and I'm gonna say, because that's worry about the stuff with face. James, because that's I don't know, worry about the stuff with James, because that's kind of like you know, that's passable. And, it was the stuff with the kids later that I know exactly what you talk about. Because, how did that like, even happen if like, some of them not even as guardian from what was said in the no, movie? But like, not even saying that, it's just like what he did, like. You're supposed to have we'll get to nigga pull the Naruto. Matter of fact, um nigga pull the Naruto. All of, so so before let me let's get to the spoiler review because let anything else like um before like your so you say you give it a seven, I understand. I bet you people is like wondering why I give it a four and still like like some parts and it's just the flow of the movie, how they piece stuff together. You're on the spoiler talk now? No, we're not. I'm finna end this full. Damn. I'm finna I was finna say, I was finna open up some shit. So, so, with the sport, like, my, the reason I give it a four is just because the whole flow of the movie, too many jokes, like, the serious moments, they, they didn't, uh, none of the serious moments, like, were serious because of how they panned out other stuff. And they was just, like, not, like, Everything was goofy, even the gods. Like the gods weren't serious, and they're the gods of Marvel, and it just sucked because yeah. like, this is like one of the movies where like a lot of them could have shined, and like it just a lot of lore. It's a lot of world building. Like you yeah. get to see more of the world that's out there, and you just made us. You made it seem like, like they're a they bunch of there, pushovers. But it's like you, yeah, they are pushovers, and like they're weak and scary. And like they give people powers, and then on top of that, they just all ran, and not all of them are like that. Like that's a lot of guys. Right, not them. all of them are like that. Like, yeah, and we was talking kid. spoiler talk. I right, name you one off the top of my head that went in the movie that he would not have ran from Gore. Yeah, without and, a doubt, my boy would have stood his team right there. And then it's like, and then it's like this would have been a perfect chance to show them. Like it's like being, it's like showing a setting. And then, like, they didn't even, like, they show, like, the goofiest people, like, the goofiest guys, like. Goofiest motherfuckers you could think of that's, that's a guy. You saw them in this movie. All right, they got mentioned in this movie. And they if you start to think about the more serious guys that are in Marvel. Like, the ones you wanted to see, not, not there. It was one that I wanted to see that I would have thought that I would have seen just because you see Zeus in the movie. I would have thought you would have seen but you didn't, and I was shocked because he is like one of them bigger names, guy wise. And, and like I thought you would have seen the at least the Egyptian guys. Because Egyptian that thing because we got them in and Wakanda, and we just seen them in country. And, and like we that, just got one no, of them we, in country. Yeah, we just seen um uh, Moon Knight, and it's just like you got Moon Knight yeah. and Wakanda. At least they guys, like some of they guys, so at least Let me Bass, see country and, and Bass in it. And I, I could have had this scene together. Pass, they could even pass like they could even say like. Because Kanshu was just shown in Moon Knight, that we're not gonna show him. But they could have shown like any other nigga that was like in Moon Knight. Yeah, they could have shown. Um, Is it raining? Arthur. They could have showed the dude who they was fighting. They could have showed the crocodile, uh, the crocodile guy that there, and Box, she's getting uh, like. Uh, I I met. Hey, that's her name. I met. I met. That's the. The one that was the crocodile. Uh, yeah, I know you're talking about that. I don't think it's a, a, a met. It may be. I don't know. I, it, but regardless, it was a perfect time to show yeah, all It was niggas. a perfect time to show all them niggas because I would have wanted, because this, like you said, perfect time. You could have had country, us in there arguing, us in there arguing at country. Guys, why the fuck you doing this stupid shit? You arguing back and forth, and then somebody say, oh, you know, it's just sibling things. People don't know that they're brother and sister, like they're brother and sister. Like, guy. That was like, like how Thor was like geeked up about all the guys. You could have just painted them and be like, "Oh, boss, that's that's the guy that gives Black Panther the they show Black Panther the fruit." Hey, boss, because like if you in Marvel, they'd be like, "Mjolnir has been wielded by Black Panther." You yeah. could just be the like, Thor, like, "Hey, boss," like, and boss like wave back or something. Just something. you wanted to make it funny, like that's the kind of right that they was going. You could have had some something, shit like that something. in there, but it, 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 
it was I felt like this was just I don't know, bro, because Marvel have me questioning them a lot, especially with like how they be doing their movies now, like especially these last three movies that they had big names. We not on the spot of time, so I can't talk. Well, I just he's hate. He's talking about well, you said big names are like Christian Bale or like big like. like like that, like a you know, Christian Bale is a he, he's a big name. You can say he's a big name. He's being Batman. He's a big name. Mm-hmm. So Christian Bale is like the yeah. nigga, bro. Do you like, feel like they just don't have like? I don't even want to say that because it's Disney. They got money. He's Disney and Marvel. I was gonna say like, do you feel like the reason that I me and you don't like the same problem that Marvel movies have? You feel like the reason that they keep having that problem is because they don't want to pay these big actors for another big role like that? No, so what they what Marvel wants to do ultimately is make the MCU young as fuck. And like eventually and they the kinda MCU did that MCU, casting a young Spider Man though. Eventually the MCU is going to be Disney. And it was it's gonna be, be young faces Avengers, instead of old faces. Yeah, like I, 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 I kid you not. I bet you at the Secret Wars, it's gonna be number young niggas. We may get an old nigga here and there for some shit. Oh, head, they yeah. gonna be an old head. But I feel like the TV shows are gradually gonna get younger and just be for the kids. And then the it's already starting out because we had like our first phase for the TV shows. Like you got some of your like original characters from the movies. I want to envision you had Hawkeye, Sam, and a Winter Soldier, Loki. Then you had the wedding stuff. Them, like, yo, big, like, them, yo, big name superheroes that's in Marvel. Then, like, the second batch of TV shows, we kind of got heroes that are kind of on their side. Moon Knight, Ms. Marvel. What else we didn't got this year, TV show wise? Um, I don't know, but I just know Iron Heart's gonna be next. Yeah, you having all of these, like, I won't even say they smaller names because Ironheart isn't a smaller name. She's replacing a big name. So, I'm just, it's just going to be young. But, um, yeah. From here on out, y'all, this is now the, let me look at the camera. This is now. We got to, I want you to be able to edit this the right way, though. You got to make sure that you know that this is where we start talking about the spoilers. Oh, no, this is like, this is like where we, like, we're saying it right now. From here on out, this is the a spoiler, spoiler talk. This is spoiler talk. This is spoiler talk. If you have not seen the movie, please, 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 please leave, leave right now later. and come back later. You ain't going to miss that. This is the spoiler talk from here on out. Spoiler talk. 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 Picture this is a sign that says spoiler talk. <laughs> All right. I do not like that. Everything. I have so much it. shit I got to say. I don't like <laughs> everything. Like, I just don't like it all. Like, I don't like how they hold. Go- Let's just start Gore again. They can we start? Gore. I was just gonna say, can we start right there? They hold I can, Gore. Gore is supposed to make, be whooping Thor's ass all my Let's movies. go ahead and tell them what our gripe is with some of the Marvel movies. Our biggest What's gripe with the these Marvel? movies. I don't want to talk about they, all of the Marvel movies. You know, I I, I'm just them. saying, like in general, like this is the problem that I have with this one. Why did right, you we'll kill such that. a famous? We'll we'll save that. Save that. Okay, bet, 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 bet. I don't like that Gore is this this godly like Gore is that nigga. That's supposed to kill everybody, and he didn't. His name and he's is supposed to God. Be, listen, Wichita. it took three Thors from the past hey. and the future and present Thor to fuse into one with Stormbreaker and Mjolnir and the Odin Force, and that still wasn't enough to kill Gore the God Butcher. They had he had to wheel the necro sword that gore wields himself to kill gore that's how strong himself. gore is gore is supposed to be making pancake. thor like a pan into a pancake the whole movie and we were supposed to get at least a trilogy of movies with gore being the main villain of him just walking we around whooping for his ass we were supposed to get a trilogy of fights and we didn't even get that it's, we didn't even get that because in and my like, opinion like and, how i said 
I just feel like you only get two good scenes with, like you said, you get two good fight scenes in the beginning when they first get to Asgard, and then and at then, the end. No, I wouldn't even call it that good because Gore ran like they made Gore into like a bitch, and it's just like I know he has a plan. Oh, and that's another thing. His plan was fire. And, I and then my whole thing was, if you watch the movie, you won't be able to guess which wish she gonna make anyway. Bro, listen. So the so because Gore, of how the movie started. So Gore plan was perfect, and to leading Thor to where to the Shadow Realm. But it's like when they see Gore, and like he get the scratch, and then he's like ah, and he like he like like that shit. Gore bumps then like when he like oh you marked me yeah he one of them psycho niggas like finally uh like finally i got a challenge you gave me my first somebody cut me it's time to kick this nigga ass like no he ran it and then he took the kids like the kid like i get it it was part of his plan which that still was irrelevant because it's gore like thor is gonna follow you anyway because i felt like if they wanted to be more dramatic he should have killed fucking valkyrie and lil if they wanted it to be that dramatic you the king of asgard right kill the ass and lil and then just thor and jane get that just, just something but the fact that gore not, pulled up and that. then you know? i don't like that they didn't just straight out say that he's controlling the symbiotes like, you know, the Necrosaur is from the world of the symbiotes, I right? I was going to say that. It's like, they, if you're a comic reader, all has the same sword. And you, you're you not going to even have a mention that this is connected to the symbiotes in no type of way. No, because listen, they haven't I don't, even care. I, don't, I don't care that it, you give us the symbiote suit. And you, so you give us that the symbiote is connected to the multiverse. You give us a symbiote suit in Marvel. So we know the symbiotes exist in there. This has been a perfect chance to for Noel, not even Noel, this has been a perfect chance for like the symbiote god to like communicate through the necrosaur and would like tell him like come to come home, come to the planet, or whatever. This would be right. or they didn't have none of that. And then like when he like attacked Asgard and he summoned his shadow creatures, he would have like he could have just said symbiotes attack. And just saying that. Just telling the studio. We have set up a whole nother movie. Niggas would have went crazy just in hearing. That same, in that same fight, what if one, what if a piece got cut off and it ran off? That's for Spider Man no, later. But, so, that, but no, like Spider Man already got the symbiote with. Uh, yeah, he do got one. That's what I'm saying. Like they, him just saying like the symbiotes attack on Earth, so we know the symbiotes are on Earth. When, like he literally went to ask new Asgard with him. Like that could have, and then a bigger, like just say a dead symbiote body, like was there, and then somehow the symbiote from the multi, from uh Venom attaches it to it. So now he got a new body. He can go do whatever. Like it's so many things that they could. Because that's did. a big thing in Marvel that symbiote don't necessarily need a host if it has enough material that's like one thing that they don't talk about that venom was not eddie or just anybody for a long time he was just venom the symbiote mm -hmm. like it's so many things that like they could have did with just gore like setting up stuff with gore and they did could have did a lot of things and it with pisses gore, me off bro killed it. he killed it as gore i don't think nobody else could have done like or the way that he did it because he just added so many layers no, love, to it. No, I love Christian Bell. And even with the stuff yeah. with the kids, like when he's like, like I said, he reminded me of Pennywise. Another gripe that I had was you have a you have three movies with him Heim, Heimsdale, and not once did you mention his family or him having a kid. And now he That's got a kid out of the blue. That's not great with it. Like his kid is supposedly one of the like they look at his kid as like you're a potential candidate to be like the king one day in the comics just because like he's Heimdall saying he's looked at as being like hey, you got some stripes going to your name simply because like your dad is saying and you know you like you said you don't get no mention of bro at all not even the fact that he had a family all of a sudden he has a son like it's just his son now I mean, I understand that he probably there for the story just to have somebody be able to watch over the Bifrost. Hey. Wait, you wait. You do know in the comics, Heimdall doesn't have a kid, right? Yeah. Okay. So, that's what I'm saying. Like, 
if they was gonna do this, you could have mentioned like your dad died. And Dude, you need to tell two me, movies ago, three a movie ago, he died yeah. in the third one, didn't he? Yeah, he died in the third one. You mean to tell me like his last dying breath wasn't protect my kid or something? It wasn't a uh, look out for my family like, or throw, the whole get time my son. You see him in the like movies it. protecting all these ass gardens. He not protecting no black baby in his arms or having no girl with a black or, kid next like, to him. Even that, you see how old the little boy is and he can use the Bifrost. He just didn't pop up on his daddy one day and he can't use his powers. Like he didn't just walk through the Bifrost just one day by accident. No, he couldn't. He no, that was, no, he couldn't use none of that because he literally he said he said in the movie, like, I can't use my powers like Oh yeah, he did yeah, say that in the beginning. And he don't have the sword. The sword was gifted from Odin to control the Bifrost. He could. He could only. And now why he used Thor and Hammer? Yeah, like use it because it can go. Yeah, Stormbreaker is like the new fucking sword or whatever. <laughs> Which is crazy. When good luck you say everybody can pick that hole up, so it really can be like their next sword. And then. Another thing that pissed me off is reviving Gore's daughter and giving her to fucking Thor. And then I didn't like that she's eternity. Like they're making her eternity. Yes, like, bro. That, and I was going to get like, you made a fucking kid eternity. You know how broken she D is? This is. This is somebody. And you have that no literally. explanation of that. Like you don't. Under, you you're didn't explain. Gonna, you're not gonna explain to me what she got to do. Why did Eternity can he, can he, like I know Eternity is a cosmic being, but you don't even explain like what. So first off, they don't explain that uh, what where the fucking Marvel entities are. At. Like you got Eternity, Kronos, the one above all. Uh, like you explain all the like the fucking celestials are here, but they're like just the beyonder. Yeah, like no, not even the beyonder, cause he like they're they're outside of space. They're outside of space and time. You're talking about just the space, folks. I'm just talking about the fucking entities of like like Chronos. Like he controls all the time. Eternity is the li is 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 the space, the living space. That the Marvel Universe takes place in is literally her body. Because All like I understand, because I understand the way they was trying to put it, they was trying to make it like this was his wish. His one wish came true in living form, which is was which was for his daughter to be back. But like how you saying, explain that in the story. Why the story have her? What reason is she? What yeah, role like, is she gonna play? Like, you didn't leave like no type of. So like because and that's another thing like so Gore opened up the dimension to eternity with the Bifrost and eternity's just sitting there. So all the it's so way. all the fucking cosmic entities just sitting in there on fucking dimension now instead of just they out sit, and about. They sit there like, and we they know wait for some of them, interact with them. We know some of them are in dimensions like nightmare. We know nightmare cannot leave the nightmare dimension. We right. know, uh, what's my nigga from, uh, Doctor Strange? Um, Darmamu. We know Darmamu can't lead a dark dimension. We know Shuma Gorath, and they fuck Shuma Gorath up. We know the real yeah, Shuma Gorath him, can't lead. They made him like a, a fodder villain. They made him like yeah, a fodder villain. We know <laughs> the real Shuma Gorath can't leave his dimension. Yeah, we real know, Shuma Gorath can't leave. But people like Death is out here fucking off. People because like, they're considered in that same like realm that the gods are. They can walk around and do whatever they want to. They just have to do their job, which is govern know, they people. We know oblivion. No, they don't govern people. You're they don't govern the, people. You're mixing the the celestial like the cosmic entities yeah, but they, are but just what I out mean, here. Like, people, but you know, like how Zeus told him, which was the problem that Gore had with his god. His god talking about some. I'm supposed to care. Zeus said they didn't fucking care. Like how you said, they made that yeah. seem like and it it's was like it. Zeus, like he was just there. I know he was there for like a little plot device, but it's just like they didn't explain his lightning bolt. And when Thor grabbed it, it's just like Thor's hammer. And and then you you have Zeus's lightning bolt, and then you're able to enchant all the kids. So you just gonna like just just retcon that 
Thor had the the I don't know if he got the Odin Force or he had like cause he's supposed to have the it's, he's it's supposed also, to it's like they try to make it seem like his lightning that he use when he don't be using Mjolnir is his Odin Force powers. I don't know. That's, not, what, that's, that's what I'm trying to do. A good job of separating it because, like how you said, the lightning come from him and then let it stay with me on there. No, my the story is this. Is what I'm trying to get to. Does Thor have the Odin Force now? Because I thought you had to be worthy of the Odin Force because hey. you're sitting there telling Zeus's like hammer to give everybody the power of Thor. Like, and then I know I see they retcon. Because he really loved Jane. He, he was able to change the he incantation. Added, no, he didn't change this, it. He added one. He added to he it. I mean it. Yeah, that's what I mean to say. So I get that, like, the, the love part. Yeah, because that's one But that's one thing that only somebody with the Odin Force is supposed to be able to but do is add back, something. Yeah, that, that's what I'm saying. Like, is it the Odin Force or... Does he have the Odin Force? Because all the or, things that happened for him to get it have happened already in the movies. Like, Odin has had like his sleep and he's woke back up. It, but he's yeah, dead. And then like, he came out and said it. The, well, he did. No, well, well, no, because in the comics, even with Odin being dead, he still has to be worthy of the Odin Force and has to go to Odin's, like, secret dimension, whatever the fuck it's called. To get Odin's force. Don't he have to go through like the same process of being no, put through the sleep and stuff? No, I thought no, that was something they had to do to with go it. Through. So all the Odin, like the entire Odin family tree, to get the Odin force, you have to lose something to gain a force of the power. So remember when in the comics, Odin always had one eye. Well, that's because he took he got rid of his eye to gain more of the Odin force. So, like, yeah. in the comments, like, Thor took out both his eyes to gain more of the Odin force. Like, he lost, like, I his sense. He lost his Because ain't this, like, real King Thor? That's the yeah, way that they Rune say King it, King like, that real King Thor. Yeah, and that's what I thought we was going to, because his suit looks like Rune King Thor. Rune King Thor with the blue. I said the blue is, like, his Rune King Thor costume, and Dang had, like, his ultimate costume. Yeah, and so it's just, like, so the the game more the Odin Force you have to lose like your senses or whatever. So he lost all five of his senses, all six senses, to gain all of the fucking Odin Force. So it's just like we know he lost the eye. So does he have part of the fucking Odin? Even though Force? it's like a replacement, like he has a replacement there, but like the but eye itself is gone. Eye. Yeah, like, like the original eye is gone. That's little shit like that. I don't know if I'm going too comic booky. Or whatever, but I feel like, like they don't add enough to it because it seemed like they add like, like you said, they add like little things like the Odin Force and how Thor is able to use the lightning without me on there with Stormbreaker. Well, no, but so so, so he's supposed to be able to. So when whenever that was the whole point of Ragnarok, when he was like, "Are you the god of hammers? Or are you the god of thunder?" You yeah. know what I'm saying. So like the thunder is part of like it's part of him. It flows through him. He's a conduit of thunder and lightning and shit. It's just that the Odin Force makes him a cosmic being to the point to where he can open up the Bifrost without without Stormbreaker. He can wield cosmic lightning to the point to where he can destroy a universe if he wants to. It's just that, does he have Odin Force or does he not have the Odin Force? Because he's yeah. the All-Father now. Like, he's supposed to be the All-Father. Because the Odin watcher, is gone. Yeah, because Odin is gone. It's it's supposed like, to be, yeah. And it's just like, is he that or is he not that? And it's just like, it's so many questions. Because now that you explain. said that, it's almost like that's what they trying to make eternity through Thor. Like, she's going to be like, who? because she's eternity, she can see everything. But that's going to be her job. She have to, like, and Thor has to be there to guide her through, like, being able to do the and the thing. But Which, like how you thing, said, though, like, it would only make sense if he had the Odin Force, because that's one way he can interact with her powers is by having the Odin Force. Yeah, like and being a cosmic being, like he once he has the Odin Force, like full blown Odin Force, he can destroy like eternity and like oblivion and nightmare. Like he's that nigga. But it's just like, does he have a portion of it? Because you granted all these motherfucking kids the power of Thor. And yeah. it's just like, even though it was through Zeus's boat, it was still the power of Thor because it's lightning. Explain Zeus's boat because he had Zeus's boat, 
he could spread he can do that you know what i'm saying but it's just like nigga pulled a naruto it's so many little it's so many little gripes i had to the point to where like it's too many to let slide i didn't like the ending to it like and i don't whole like thing. The eternity like explain eternity like is is the kid eternity or is the kid a conduit of eternity because like if you go back and look when the kid is back in the water shadow like in the shadow of the water it's the reflection like of the water body eternity it's eternity standing over that nigga. yeah and but, that's like what i was tripping on about like when he made the wish it was you know the form that we first saw then you see that it's his daughter and like he said he look into the water in the reflection and it's eternity like it's his daughter though that he see with his own flesh and blood yeah. eyes so like how you said I didn't like that because it don't explain anything. If anything, it has more of a question. Like, who is this little girl and why, like, did Jane really... I don't know, bro. Like, I just didn't like how they made Jane not care about Thor up until she was finna fucking die. Like, that just didn't make sense to me. Yeah, like, and they made Jane, like, seem like, oh, I got the power and that nigga, fuck you. I'm out here. And they didn't explain her powers good enough, like, how the powers work for her with her can like in the comics they made a good explanation of saying that when she uses the thunder because it's enchanted thunder with a hammer it purifies her body purifying her yeah, body well, means the chemo so, too that because looks, like that like i'm sorry i'm sorry go continue you good. Like, that like why i liked it because in the comics because they did a good job of explaining that when she turns into thor it cleans her body even of the chemo but when her cancer come back it's almost like her cancer is where it was right before the chemo started and her body's at zero with the chemo and that's why like they were telling her if you turn into thor one more time you gonna die like in the comments let, they told her i let that slide because they kind of put it off on the hammer he was like stop wielding the hammer like yeah the hammer the hammer is like like killing you because like the hammer was protecting her as long as she had the hammer she was being protected from from chemo and stuff. I mean, from uh cancer and shit. Cancer. So she was able to like beat Thor, but as soon as like she like stopped with let the hammer go. As soon as she let the hell go, the cancer came back. Not only did it come back for where it was when you wielded Thor, but for however long she was being Thor, the cancer progressed like like yeah too. And your chemo is gone and because gone of the lightning. Because of cleansing your body and shit. So it's like you're not doing anything. You're just letting the cancer kill you. You're right. And Unless you're just like, holding me on there the whole time. Like, that was one thing that she, that was like a joke that she had, an ongoing joke in the comments. She would go to sleep and like have all these funny ways that she would have trying to keep the hammer in her hand so she would never have to stop being thought. And she saw that it just wasn't working, that she would always eventually like let it go. Yeah. They, I like how they wrote Jane. They wrote Jane. I just felt like she was inhuman. Like how she, it was an aspect to it that made her seem real life with her cancer in the movie. No, yeah, I, I just wish it, they, I just wish they yeah. would have like explained the cancer stuff better. Like besides her just looking sick after she dropped the hammer, like that's obvious. But like, why does she look sick if she was no, just no? Okay. Why she get cancer? That was my like. Why did she get cancer? Like that wasn't it, explained. Because I feel like the reason that they're gonna say that is because she was around the radioactivity of the stone in the second. That would have feel like sense. that's why. But you know, like we know in the comics she get cancer because like her family or whatever. It's hereditary in the mm -hmm. comics, and but, but I think, but but knowing like it's just they didn't explain that good. Like yeah, you see, like you would her have mom to be deep. having cancer. Yeah. And so, we have to be deep in the Marvel movies to under to know that their stones give us like radioactivity. I'm not like, even talking about that. Real. I'm just saying like that would have been a better explanation. But her just seeing a flashback of her mom dying of cancer, yeah, see, and, and she so, just died. Like, yeah. So you're supposed to automatically be like, oh, so her family has cancer, so she automatically get cancer. Like, I didn't like how it just was stage it's four. Just there. Yeah, it's there. just there. Like. Nigga, she it was just stage healthy. four when we got that. Like she was just fine walking around. Like in the beginning of the movie, yeah, you can't like, sit and tell me she didn't drive herself there. So how is she, she like so? 
uh, how is she like on Dev's doorstep? On Dev's doorstep, like I'm right there. It's just movie. like you just there, and then it's like I don't know if you would have gave us like a time frame, like this is like right after the snap, and like how like, long has she been Thor? Because that, that would have no, made more sense. Then. How long has she been ha- going through chemo and cancer and shit? You know what I'm saying? Because like, like you said, I put a timeline on. Because we don't know what if she got snapped out of existence and she came back and her cancer and it was just progressing the whole time she was snapped out. Yeah, exactly. I don't know that. Exactly. There's so many ways that they could have. Yeah, because she was snapped because she was part of the thing. Like, uh, But that's what I'm saying. Like, They could have used any of that to give us a timeline of like she didn't have cancer for four years. She didn't have cancer for three years. You know what I'm saying? But we got none of that. So it's just like at the beginning of the movie, she got the beginning of cancer. And then when we see her in the bathroom next, to the, the bitch didn't look like she didn't have cancer for ten, like five years. Like That's one thing I don't like them straying away from dates and stuff now. They need to go back to like adding the dates and the years to tell us what what's going on. I'll because I feel you. like it lets you know that this movie isn't necessarily the next movie in chronological order. Yeah, it could be like three or four movies later that this movie take place, but we haven't seen the three or four movies. Yeah, they said this movie is the furthest movie in the timeline. Like this movie, but it don't even see. Time. It don't even seem like it though, because look yeah. how it start. Well, that's what it's, I'm saying. Like they, they like it's like they said it's supposed to be. This movie is supposed to progress the timeline some more. Because everything else has been taking place between two to three weeks after the snap or after uh, Endgame and shit. But it's just like you had the perfect chance to be like five years ago or four year, three and a half years ago. And it's her. You could have had like, that. Right. You could have had that like the opening scene. And then flash forward to throwing Guardians on the planet, find war, and say now, like this is mm-hmm. now. So we know now is yeah. five like years present, ago. Yeah, like three and a half years ago, it's her and Darcy sitting there, and then Darcy talking like, "Hey, I'm finna, I gotta go do a job at West. This place called Westview." You know what I'm saying? Right, like, and we know that she just went to One Division yeah. and heard the beginning. Or of she just got back like, from One Division, like I've been, I've been great. yeah. Like she could have been like she could have just pulled up at the cancer treatment and been like, so Wanda kind of went crazy, and then it been I like I know you've been in the sick. I yeah. know, but I don't know how. Like and she could have recapped the TV shows too. Cause she's yeah. been sick. And then and then fast forward like to like, just like present day, and it's like Valkyrie shooting a uh, Old Spice commercial. You know what I'm saying? Which was funny as fuck. That was one of the move, one of the moments that I literally started laughing at. That. Like I hollered and hope. <laughs> yeah, like that was funny, but it's just like little shit like that, like just little things that like kept the flow. Oh, the okay. movie coherent. Like yeah. you kept it where a person could follow if they hadn't seen the last two or three Marvel movies. Which I will say. If you didn't go see Dr. Strange and you didn't go see Morbius, I don't, I blame you for not going to see Dr. Strange, but I don't blame you for going to see Morbius. Yeah. But at the end of the day, you know, you want it to be coherent because if somebody were to go and watch Infinity War, they can watch Infinity War and kind of have a good timeline based on the events and the times that's going on. What's going on? It's the same thing with Endgame. It's the same way with the TV shows. The TV shows do a good job of telling you dialogue or through on screen like showing like x amount of time pass uh it's so and so in a date you do a good job of showing you like these shows take place around this time like fucking in the winter soldier did a good job of it of showing you that this literally happened right after like this show happens right after when they because you see sam is dealing with his family like not having no money because exactly. it snapped out but that's so, what i'm saying I mean, like wait, when you watch that like oh we pick it right back up. The nigga just say the word. Now we broke. That's the life of a superhero. Or my favorite with Dan WandaVision. Like the bitch literally walk out of a fucking sword with Vision body and said, I'm finna go live a happy life. And, and that's how the show started. And that's how the fucking show started. You know what I'm saying? And I felt like that was good. That one that was probably the best way to start with Wanda because she did start off tragedy. Like I mean that <laughs> even fucking Moon Knight, you know where it takes place at. You know when it take place, and you don't see no other superheroes in Moon Knight except for Moon Knight. You get them talked about, but you don't see any of them. It's good that Marvel had them a show like that, that no other hero in the movies comes in. 
through. But that's what I'm saying. Is, like, my problem isn't that, like, movies like Thor now are, like, you know, being, like, in their own bubble, in their own world taking place, like, Shang-Chi and stuff. It's just that we have a whole universe now. Let us make know, it seem you, so like you know me. I'm a okay. for the dates because I love going back and watching stuff in timeline order. Just give us that, like fix it, man. Like hell, Doctor Strange. It's like the it's like the TV shows are like on top now, and the sh- the movies are and the movies are on the man. bottom. And I don't know if it's because they so scared to use like some of their new characters, which I feel like is what the problem is. Like they don't know who gonna stick and who not. But with the TV shows, you kind of have less risk because you can say, okay, I'm gonna give Moon Knight six episodes and we just see how six episodes do. And people loved it. Okay, next season, maybe 12 episodes. Great. Like with Ms. Marvel. Ms. Marvel ain't sticking well with some folks, but it's only like six episodes though. Mm hmm. Like Hawkeye, Hawkeye got mixed reception, but it was twelve. I think Hawkeye was a twelve, in it? No, it was a eight, nine. Something it was like eight, it was eight or nine, something like that. But you see how like they but play they with the episode. Long, though. Yeah, but you see how they play with the episode. Kind of can't do that with movies, and I understand that. But I mean, but that's, that's why you no had problem. to. Problem. That's not the problem. Like they make like. It's like they're putting more love and care in the TV shows. And I know that yeah. the TV shows got to get up and running now and get on the oil, you know, the oil machine like the movie. Because are. eventually we will get to see them in the movie. And I understand that. But, like, I don't know. Because there's, like, some of the – have you heard about, like, the next new show that they're doing? Like, the Daredevil and the Jessica Jones show is supposed to be called Marvel Signs or something like that. And, like, the first – like part of the show is supposed to be about Matthew going to find Jessica for some reason to do something. That's like what that's gonna be about. I guess it's gonna be their new spin on the defenders because the Netflix version of that shit was not there. Well, no, so so I don't know about what's happening now. I just know that they, they renamed the Jessica show to back to what it was called during pre pre production, aka Jessica Jones. I don't know why. I do know that they got the the actor for Matt Murdock, Charlie, whatever his name is. Charlie like Cuts. they're yeah, Charlie. They're all like slowly gonna bring them they're gonna make them their own Disney Plus show. And then it's I, would, I feel like Daredevil was their best show to me. Daredevil was their best show because that shit was on point. I didn't watch none of it. You didn't watch none of the T V shows like that? It wasn't canon, so I didn't care. The the, the Daredevil one is fire simply because yeah, you get said. all of it. You get all of his, you get Punisher. That's how you get Punisher. You no, get I Punisher know. through the Daredevil I show. I just didn't watch it because they weren't canon. I was like, well, they don't matter. I think the Daredevil one no, is, though, canon, because they no, cut. they're canon now. Now. Oh, yeah, I but, was going to say because you see Kingpin and Hawkeye, and it's the same Kingpin. Yeah, no, like, that's what I'm saying. They're canon now, but back then, they wasn't, so I didn't care. So... I would say don't watch none of them but Daredevil because that's the, that's the that's the one that started me. it. You know you're me. not gonna like you're not gonna like the Luke Cage. Luke Cage is gonna be the one that make you mad. It is good. The first season is like I'm gonna watch all of them. It's just it is what it is. But the rest of that shit, sorry. Daredevil is the only one that hold up like season to season to season. That my favorite season of Daredevil is the third one because it take his comic book like kind of aspiration. But he used to be in the church all the time with the nan. That's what the third season about. He be in the church with the nan and like, and he be having them real serious monologues about who he is and how he became who he is. And he be like, "Oh, I'm not Matthew. I'm Daredevil. Like I've been left Matthew alone. Matthew died. He died a long time ago. Like he told the nan that. And I was like, damn. Yeah, they really digging deep into Daredevil. Like they trying to flesh him out because he is a good actor for him. I like Charlie Cox for uh, Matthew Murray. Real oh, good. But I, she Hulk show is gonna be terrible. People already hate that shit. People gonna hate it regardless. I feel like it's gonna be really good. It just depends on if they, cause like, like she's a funny character. She funny, but I feel like it's gonna depend on the show. It depends on the show. If they write it funny, it'll be straight. But if they try to write it like a Hulk TV show, it ain't gonna hold up. But um. With Thor, with Thor though, is I didn't like, I didn't like none of the, um, 
I didn't like the little gripes about like the timeline. I didn't like what just the not them not explaining like the if the order really if the order forces there or not. And I, I didn't, didn't like, like the like ending. Oh, so um, the Hercules part. Yeah, I, let's get to that. I didn't. I I liked it and I didn't like it. I, but I could probably say I didn't I like it more than it. I My thing is that this is the Zeus that I be trying to tell people like Zeus is a dick. And he sends Hercules out to like basically be his muscle, and it's just like <laughs> what's going to happen is that I think they're going to t- turn Thor and make like you know wh- who what was his new team? It was Hercules, Sentry. That's what I was gonna um, get to. That's the reason why I didn't like it Hyperion. because if you right if you know his new team hercules is on the team and they get along mm-hmm. and he's sending hercules to go fight him but that's, that's one reason was, that i know? didn't like it thor like hercules was thor's like one of thor's first villains that's how he got yeah. introduced in the him. comics they used to bump hard like yeah. if you read old thor comics he like always in that bumping I, with I, like he started the story wrestling with hercules i, I honestly would have rather had hercules in this movie instead of gore I would have how I would have wanted them to introduce Hercules. As we talking spoilers, like I can talk about this. I would have wanted to see that other big god that you see in Marvel. I wanted would have wanted to see Hades. Show Hades there in like the stands. I have him talk and say something crazy, so you know that he not necessarily there to help. He just there trying to be nosy, put his two cents in. He beefing mm-hmm. or whatever if he feel like. If you put Hades there, and you, okay, you can set up the next Thor movie on a Hercules beefing, but Hades in the background, big beefing with everybody. And then, you know, at the end of that movie, Herc and Thor got to team up to beat Hades. And, you know, they beat Hades, and that's how their little friendship start. Mm-hmm. I just felt like that would have made it better if Hades would have been there, because he is, like, the next big-name Marvel guy that you could, that I think, that, that I think of, I think Thor, Zeus, Hades. That's, like, how I think about them. Mm-hmm. But well, Thor, I'm Zeus, like, not nah, Thor, Hercules, Hades. I mean, I would, when if I think of Thor, and after that, I think of like Sentry and Hyperion, then Hercules. I only, I only think about them per se when I'm thinking about Hulk because they always call Sentry for Hulk if Thor's not there. Yeah, yeah. I'm, still though, Sentry, Sentry is part of like Thor's little super god group. Uh, because of like I feel like Sentry cared to fit his group because of who Sentry is when he's not quote unquote Sentry, if you get what I'm saying. Yeah. And when he's not in power with the whole Sentry thing and he's like normal and he don't have like that attitude or that little mental thing that they say happen when he used the powers. Mm-hmm. He's more like Thor in a human sense, and that's why Thor put him on like, you know, a little junior. Mm-hmm. junior. So I I don't know. I didn't like the hey, I like the hurt thing because we got to see hurt. He looked like comic book hurt. I would have wanted him to be a little bit more buff. The dude was a little scrawny, the little scrawny little thing right there. Mm. Hey. Nice. It was a, I, I liked it because I got to see Hercules, but I didn't like it because you didn't add in, you didn't add nothing juicy to make me be like, yeah, hurt and Hades and this and then it's gonna play that Pantheon like a big part in it. What would they would have added to? What would they would have added to make you to make me like look for another Thor movie? I would have wanted this to happen. I wouldn't have wanted Jane to die. I still would have wanted them to fight Gore. Some type of way, I would have wanted Gore's daughter to be involved, and Jane and Gore got to keep Gore's daughter and had a little family. Some type of way like that, or like. Thor got to go off. Jane got to be Thor for the Avengers that's about to set up now. No. Well, we got to see a little bit more Jane. No, I do not like Jane on the Avengers. I only say this simply because she was their Thor for a long time. No, because yeah, the other Thor was that, gone. That's in that alternate. That's in another universe. Like, I I like I don't I like Jane dying. I don't like how she died. 
I don't like that it was so drop of a hat. I felt like the whole concept with that, I felt like they did a good job making her Thor different with the hammer, like how her hammer could break apart and shit. Mm-hmm. I felt like that was a good little, you know, make her look, make her different, you like know, shotgun make her memorable. Fire. Yeah, make her memorable. Make make her on screen. And I like her little dialogue, how she was struggling with her little catchphrase, and she finally said that shit at the mm-hmm. end, and it was fine. It was all right. I like my, that. My thing with Jane, I just feel like her battle in the comics was so much epic, and like her death was so much better. Like, I felt like it like was her, more on the like, line, because yeah, they like, told her that was a villain that only she could handle, it. She had yeah. to literally say, I'm putting my life on the line. Like, I know I'm finna die after this shit, but y'all ain't got to go to. Yeah. I felt like that was better than what well, that was going. You know what I'm saying? Like, if they like they could have just kept it with that. Like, they could have just used that for, like, for, like, Gora saying, like, since Jane isn't a god, this is, you know. He could kill she, Gora she or something Gora. like that. And it, I would have, like, I would have been less pissed than her just not listening to Thor. Like she literally Cause Gore like supposed to be like that nigga back down on your screen. Gore supposed to be like Kratos. Yeah, like, like killing niggas. Like, like she just didn't listen to Thor, so it's just like she pulled up and like she did it like she didn't make or break the battle. Like, like she didn't I felt like her being there at the end didn't make or break it for me because Gore still got his wish at the end. Yeah, like, like that's what I'm saying. Out. She died for no reason. Yeah, like, that, that's what I felt. That's why I said I felt like at the end, maybe they in a way they all should have lived. Like Jane, the daughter, and then Thor. And Gore was the only one that died because of Thor. He, like, because yeah. he made the wish, like a life for a life or whatever. A life for which, a life. Yeah, that would have made sense. Which, that still don't make sense because it's just like, why on earth did, like, he had to die if he did the wish and did everything correct? Like, it didn't make sense. Like, and why did ultimately his one wish have to lead to like his ultimate sacrifice? And he was like, he was gonna die eventually anyway from the sword. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, they could have just left like, oh, because I did this and I and I like made a pack with a sword, I die. But no, it's just gonna like I made, anyway. I made a fucking wish, and it's just like, what is this? Another Infinity Stone? Like, it pissed me off because it's like it made no sense. Like, none of that made sense. That was just like, it, I felt like they did, like how we said, like that goes back to our problem. Like, why well, they want to get a villain after one movie? I felt like they tried to spitball it, like they spitballed it in and get it, and it came out like that. Like, that was the best one they could come out with, with Jane dying and Gore also dying. Like, Jane, it can't be Jane, two Thors, obviously. They, That's how they felt. Jane and Gore should have killed each other, each other, because, right? And, and or you know what I'm saying like it was so much they could have did but they just did that and it's, it's just, a lot they I miss the days that. where like they kept the same thing intact except they just switched the characters out who did it like yeah like, like that that killed. shit just be crazy like okay they both Thor but we just going to use Jane for this movie because Odin's son out doing whatever like that no not even that like all right like okay like in Age of Ultron we know Hank Pym creates Ultron, but they just swapped Hank Pym for Tony. And kept, but, yeah. You know what I'm saying? And we kept know, everything else the same. Like, it was all the same except yeah. for that, but only because we had met him in the story at that exactly. point. Exactly. Exactly. And that's the type like, Tony was just the placeholder. But in the end, though, I mean, Tony did have just a big of a part to do with it than Hank did because he was there. He was like, yeah, I feel like you could just no, do this yeah, shit. Yeah, like they used Tony's stuff in the end, but that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Like, that's the type of shit that I'm saying. Like now, it's just like they got all the rights to everything, and they're just like shoehorn and and I don't know. It just it it's like me off. It, it let me, me off. ask you this: since you a big Gore fan, do you feel like another villain could have helped this place right here, for Gore? And he would have been like another villain for like another movie. They should have saved Gore. If they wanted to do this, they should have saved Gore and used. Let me look up dude's name. Cause I'm not a big Thor fan, but I know about his some of his villains though. Thor has some fine movies. I feel like this would have been the best phase to tell the World War Hulk story in. But they kind of missed their opportunity with that because of how they played Hulk and Ragnarok in, in Infinity War.
a lot of fast shit that uh they can pull from their stories, but they didn't got so far into their movies. Now they didn't kind of ex some of the stories out because of how they didn't dance some of the characters. Like it would be damn near impossible to do some of the Hulk stories now simply because like how they got it made. He it had to almost be another hope for them to do it. Since we talking about Thor, you know they did a Thor story that had Miles' story, and that shit was kind of corny. When you when he's in Asgard with Tim's and shit, yeah, that like, shit was corny. This shit was corny because as a black because a black dude didn't write him, and it was trash. This shit was corny as fuck. And they just used fucking like uh, they used damn. Don't give me started. Stereotypes. Man, the stereotypes are through the roof. Motherfucker said by Odin's fade. Boy, shut your stupid ass up. You wouldn't have said that shit in real life. I just didn't like, why did Asgard have to be Harlan? That shit killed me right now. Bro, everything's popping up. For the movie. Cause I can't think of another villain that they haven't done that I would have wanted to see instead of going to save boy. Like you could have had a mention of him running around killing these guys in this movie, and then like we got to him in the next movie. Like you said in the beginning when we was on non spoiler talk, I don't think I would have been calm if a nigga's name was God Butcher and he out here killing people because he killing gods. I don't think I would have been okay just sitting in my house like chilling. Zeus said we chilling so mm-hmm. that nigga name is God Butcher at the end of the day. They don't say people, mortal butcher. Man they don't say God. immortal butcher. They say God. Man Gog. Gog. I don't know who that is. Man Gog is the nigga that kills Jane in the comics and she sends this nigga to the sun. But she's the only one. She was the last fight. Yeah, she was the last fight. Okay. She was, she was the she, last fight with she Jane. She was the only one that could kill him because Thor was. Thor he was, was sleep, wasn't it? I think he, he was in the sleep, wasn't it? He was in the older sleep. He was in the older sleep or he lost he lost the Odin force or some shit. It was like I think it was either cause he didn't have Stormbreaker at that time. It was nothing. either he would it he was like nothing. he wasn't worthy or he was in the Odin sleep or something. Yeah, crazy he wasn't shit. worthy. He, he wasn't, wasn't worthy, worthy, I think is he what it was. Worthy. And so Jane was the last one left. And so she chose to save the universe versus living. And she killed Mangog, which Mangog is on the same cal. The difference between Mangog and and Gore is that Mangog cannot die; he's immortal. Until she took that nigga to the sun, that nigga was crying, and gave his ass a bath. Took that nigga to the sun, that was all with. So, and when she flew out of the sun, she she landed on the moon, and Thor held her, and then she she went to Valhalla. That bitch, that is I felt so like that epic. was that shit was stupid how they did. Did you see the Valhalla scene in this in the oh, movie? Yeah, 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 yeah. I thought that you shit talking was talking about the comics. Like, like no, that shit Jane was stupid. Went out like I like how they the went. Comics. I like how she how she went out in the comics way better because they made her Valhalla scene in the comics epic as fuck. My thing like, was she like, deserved it. I felt like I don't feel like that was honorable enough with Gore to make her like, go to Valhalla. That was like she died in battle. Like that was like you know just a basic thing. She died. In the battle. only prerequisite is that but she died like, in battle. Didn't do nothing. She didn't even kill Gore himself. Like point, Gore got, and she Gore took won. man God. She took man God gas out and got celebrated when she Valhalla. Motherfucker gonna look at her as like yeah when she uh, and then your nigga ran off with the baby yeah like she killed man god and fucking 
they said like became a god. Celebrate that like, she, she went to the hell and was a god. Yeah, right. She became a real god then. So yeah, like when she got the Valhalla in the comments, it was it was lit all for two weeks. It was weeks. a party. And she but, pulled up. They was like, shit, we were waiting on you to pull up. Shotty, no offense. Because you, you did. This speaks for you, big dog. Like shit pissed you me waiting off. on you. This shit and that's what I'm saying, bro. Like, that's what I was expecting. And then it's just like I was this nothing. lame ass interest. I was nothing, mad as fuck. Right I didn't get nothing that I thought I was gonna get. And usually I'm right when it comes to these comic book movies. This is the first movie that like Who is right about that Doctor Strange movie? I was right I've been right about literally everything up until this. Like this is the first This was just like, threw you for a loop because of how they decided to do it. The script I feel like the script is what took it that way. Yeah, like this is this was awful. Like everything it was just bad. And I'm not and I don't dislike it because I wasn't right about it. But it's just and like, that's what I'm saying. Like I wish I could have gave it higher because in my in my opinion, my favorite thing, you want to hear what my favorite thing is about the movie. You gonna say I'm lame as fuck. I like the play that they did with the title of the movie, Love and Thunder. That the little girl's name is Love and of course new name is Thunder. Love and Thunder. If you didn't if you don't watch the movie to the end, you won't know that. No, I but that's like that the name is, of the movie. That's like my corny. favorite thing about it is that that's corny as fuck, that but that's like my favorite thing I, to pull from it. It is dope. I, it, it, it do like it is one of those like oh, oh okay. Yeah. Like, you know like that, that's how I felt when I looked at the movie. I was like when he was like love and thunder. I was like But another was thing dope. though, like love and thunder, all this like so many like in you know in your windows throughout the movie towards cause of, like Jane and Thor love his love and you know and they both got thunder they love each other and they both had the powers of thunder. It was a bunch of shit like, you know. Is that a Jane the Foster Thor shirt you got on? I got it for the movie. I wore it when I went to the movie. Oh man. <laughs> yeah. whole fine. It's just the poster of the movie. Yeah. Where you get it from? Got this hoe from Hot Topic. Oh uh, no, I got a damn I got the I always try to wear like a little shirt or something to the movie, like that Spider movie. Oh uh, yeah, I I used to be like that during Phase One and Two. Nah, I got a. Uh, I'm gonna wear this during the stream tomorrow, just from the beach. Hey, my boy. Yeah. Uh, I got a Death Note shirt that I got in the mail the other day. That was clean. I ain't, I didn't even know they made shirts like that. What Death Note? Like it had panels from the manga on it. And then, like, on the outside of the panels, it had a handwritten in cursive the rules to the Death Note. Oh, like, you told me, you told me. oh, inside. And then on the back, it has, like, how to use, how to use, how to use. You told me, you told me. Um, that whole fine. That's, like, one of my favorite shits right now. I guess that's it. Uh, I, I can only discuss, like, uh, yeah, we did kind of talk about everything. Yeah. Um... <laughs> So we got to give it our final our scores at the end. I give it a seven. I still gonna stick with my solid seven. Just because it. it's I a Thor movie. Four, but I, I still stick with four. Just cause yeah, my boy said I'm gonna give it a four. I'm gonna give it a four. I don't know. This I feel up. like it's too I feel like that's too harsh. I feel like all right, so I'm gonna give it two scores. If you're a comic book nerd, it's a four. Yeah. You wanna do it like that since it's a comic book movie? Because we could do if the anime movies book, like that. If you're a comic book nerd, it's a four. But if you're yeah. going to, if you, Average. if you're a casual little MCU fan who don't care about the knickknacks, who want to go see Thor again, then it's a seven. I guess. Yeah, seven. I could say that Thor, Lunar Thor score is, is like comic, Thor's, like yeah. Or, yeah. a comic score. My score is that I'm a comic person too. I'm gonna be on comic too, but I didn't go into it with my comic brain. I went into it no, with my. Thor I brain. went in there with my comic brain because I love gore. And I yeah, love I went like, into it with my Thor brand because I just wanted to see Thor. I wanted I love, to be like, what his movie gonna be about? I wanted to see like what Gore was gonna do in the movie because I'm not gonna lie, I was gonna pass up on it until I found out that Christian Bale was Gore. I found out Christian Bale was Gore two weeks before the movie came out. I I knew when he got hired on for Thor like two years ago. I was like, oh yeah, we is. I like them as Batman. He's one of my favorite Batman's. He's not my favorite one, but he's one of my favorite ones. Yeah. No, I love I love Christian Bale. Like everything he's in. Like I got 
I got his poster. Almost everything from, uh, that he in, he just spiral with it. I got his poster from American Hustle. I think that's what it's called. Uh, that was the first movie that I ever saw him in. Like, I saw him in American Hustle before I saw him in Batman. Well, American Hustle came out like 2012, bro. So yeah, he I know. The Batman movie? What the fuck? I didn't see the Batman movies until all three of them came out because I watched all three of them in one city. Get out. I did it like that because I just wanted to see him like that. Like, I don't like seeing trilogies got, where they be broke up. I got up. two collector's editions of his Batman trilogy. Hey. Like people, I liked it. I didn't like it. it was, his Batman movies were okay. Wait, I want to see how they gonna do Robert Pattinson's movies because he was a good Batman. I liked him as Batman. A lot of people may say they didn't. The reason I liked him as Batman is because they gave him the perfect time frame for it. Young Bruce Wayne. Oh yeah, we never or, seen Young Batman. Yeah, Young Batman. This this Batman that's gonna probably kill your ass. He gonna break your jaw and be like, talk. Mm-hmm. This the this, this Batman and Robert Pattinson did. And Affleck is one of my favorite ones because he embodied that physicality of Batman to me. And like mm-hmm. how physical he was with the role. And then I like his Bruce I, Wayne. I, want, I, I love uh, Ben Affleck. I just hate that when anytime Superman got on the scene, they made him into a bitch. Yeah, I hated that he didn't get his own movie. That was the only thing that I hated but from that version of DC. We'll start but this ain't about them. We just went on a rant. Uh, but that, this ain't about them. Comic book, if you're a comic book lover, it's a four. It's a, if you're a if casual you're, viewer, it's a seven. It's a seven, and you can go in there and enjoy it. You're going to enjoy I'm telling you, you're going to laugh. You're going to have moments where you be kind of heartfelt. There's going to be a lot of moments in the movie that like touch you if you're a casual viewer. If that's what you're just going to do to watch the movie. Every time they get serious, they're going to ruin it for you. Yeah, there are a lot of like ups and downs with the emotions, especially at the wrong times. Mm-hmm. Um, And you don't, and, and, and then like, you, we like to care where it takes place in the timelines, none, none of that. If you're a Christian Bale fan, you're going to he like him as God. He did his he thing. Did his I can't thing. even say that he did anything wrong. Yeah, like, even with the script, like, I have no, even him, like, him I, don't need, Lord, I don't have no gripes with it. Even, like, with a little bit of time they show, even, there's no nitpicks on Gore's part. Even the time like, before he was, like, killing people with his daughter like to the, me that was the most emotional part like that's what i was finna say the beginning the first 10 minutes in the movie is the most emotional part because you see why gore is like oh my god butcher because to me that would have made me want to kill that ass too mm-hmm. like you gonna tell me it, it was real relatable like you gonna tell me that a whole like everybody that i've ever known my whole like we worship you i'm finally getting to meet you you telling me that I'm just cattle basically like I'm just this one person that was worshiping you and my people was just these one group of people that was worshiping the you whole and you don't care worshiped you and you snoozed on us you didn't okay. care you didn't care at all and I'm telling you that all this thing happened and all you basically saying is oh shit another so and so that happened you don't care that my daughter just died that I just almost died again here oh it ain't going I would have had to take his ass out Gore got an errand back story fuck that Oh yeah, like I, bro, like I said, it it, it sucked. It sucked. It sucked, and like I said, I hate that he died. Why did he have to die at the end of the movie? Like, what would have made a killing at least for a second movie of him actually killing some more guys, some more guys that we know? Cause I felt like you could have had his ass roll up in the little city at the beginning of the second movie, and he kill him a couple folks and walk out they hope. Like, I thought this was like, like they should have, they should have said. They could have easily set Gore up for. They could have easily set Gore up, up for the villain role, and then like he be the villain that got away, and then like the next Thor movies is all about Gore. And then, that would have been fine then, to see that we finally. Oh, go ahead. And then that could I'm just saying like that could have like them learning from like you know. Oh, like we did Thanos like this. He's been the overarching villain, so let's get Thor the overarching villain. And he losing the first one. 
and then he can't get yeah. him in the second one. And then the third one is like... Third one, he finishing on off. And then you finally get that, oh, our heroes can have their own three arc villains. Like, they don't have to die their first movie with their heroes. And I, that's one thing that I want them to get. They don't have to die that their heroes can have, like, their own little big villains on the side. And when they come together, they have, like, a humanity ending villain. Bro, just some, just give us that comic book feel now. Bro. Cause that's what I feel like they trying to do. They trying to go down the route of giving them like their little one shot villains without giving them like they, they need to introduce the main villains and like these yeah. are this, this nigga main villain. He here now, like and he just fuck with him for the time being. Like for right now, he just don't fuck with him. Like that, that would be fine. And then that main villain can team up with. Another yeah, like later on you see him in an Avengers movie because he just he see he's know that you in the Avengers that the mm -hmm. in the Avengers he pop up and just jump on Avengers Tower one day because he know or not even or that, like Avengers whoever before, like so. the like whoever the like just say that they kept Gore alive and um Kane come find Gore and like I'm finna kill the Avengers. And I need you on the team. And he make like the, you know, his, his a squad. That like Dark Avengers, so quote when, unquote. Yeah, so when it gets to like the Kang arc stuff start popping off, like, boom, you got like Kang and like all the villains that's still alive. But that's, but just, so. that's just a gripe, but I'm call it, let's call it there. Yeah, let's call it right there. It was a good little review for our first one. Very first one. Yeah. We'll see y'all. On Twitch this Friday. See y'all on Twitch this Friday. Make sure y'all tune in every Friday. Yeah. Try to be on at eleven thirty. We try. What is up, Taz? It's Twitch. It. We need to probably, need probably to do need to push it to twelve. Cause you get yeah. off and I get home at about like eleven. Then if I be late, I'm gonna get home by eleven thirty. So it might as well JB be tough. But we'll discuss that later. Cause it's already we sure. already starting late as fuck. But yeah. All right, all right, y'all. Peace out. Familiar, Famili familiar. Goddamn, I can't say it. What? <laughs> ah, fuck it. It's whatever. <laughs>